What's popping, guys? Ooh, I forgot. You don't know. So join me, UK Butter, as I give you the trends that happened today. Trust me, the two stories at the end are what waiting for. Starting the list of trends for today, now Jim musician Casey has revealed that Harry Song reportedly falsified his signature to defraud a client without his knowledge. In an interview, Casey disclosed that his former label artist Harry Song took close to 3 million naira from his client without his consent. Casey claimed that Harry Song falsified his and his brother's signature to defraud a client out of nearly 3 million naira. He stated that the matter was still with the police and that he could reactivate it. E Money's brother also stated that Ayo Anima Shao and Daddy Shoki were his witnesses since they attempted to mediate between the two parties and were upset with Harry Song's actions. According to Casey, although he wasn't attempting to emulate him, he found it disheartening that Harry Song attempted to disparage him by claiming he composed all of his songs, pointing out that he, Casey, was already a superstar before signing Harry Song. Another story that made it to the trends today. Celebrity businessman Ola of Lagos once again addresses the allegations of impregnating a lady while stating his reasons for refusing to sue her for defamation. It will be recalled that some days ago, a content creator laid allegations against the car dealer accusing him of abandonment after impregnating her. Ola of Lagos in an initial post had debunked the responsibility of the said pregnancy while affirming how he had never seen the lady in his life. In a recent update via his Instagram page, a concerned fan asked about the intention of their businessman regarding legal actions against false accusers. He made it clear that he was not ready to go through the court processes considering the fact that the lady was lying. However, he dropped a warning to the lady to stop for the defamation. Now to one of the hottest gists of today, actress in audio and filmmaker Chin Wen Wara, who worked together on the Netflix series Shanty Town and now fighting over who owns the movie. News had come out that the Netflix team in Africa started a discussion last year with Umwara and joined Creative Media for a second season of Shantytown because of the success of the first film. But on January 15, Inedo sent a legal warning to Netflix asking them to stop talking to Umwara and join Creative Media about making another season. Inedo's lawsuit provides specific details arguing against Chingwe Umwara's exclusive right to the series Shantytown. Umwara has fired back at the claim made by Inedo's lawyers with a press release stating that she is the sole initiator and sole copyright holder of Shantytown and that the media should cease spreading false claims. According to the release, a GCM implored the audience to ignore Inyedo's claim of being the owner of the intellectual property in the Netflix original movie, further stating that Nwara is the sole initiator and sole copyright holder of Shantytown. Publicly, and we beat no Buigwe to the extent. Finally, on stories that made trends today, media personality Nobuyugwe has requested advice as he cancels all of his scheduled meeting with a threat from comedian Shei Law to beat him up. You will recall that in a recent podcast, the honest bunch Shei Law publicly vowed to beat up Nobuyugwe to a very good extent without actually stating his reason in the release clip from the podcast. Nobuyugwe reacted, slamming the comedian for moving from one podcast to another while his mates are on tour. In a recent development, Nobuyugwe has informed everybody with whom he has scheduled a meeting not to expect him to show up. He uploaded a video of himself lurking behind a tree and keeping an eye out for Shei Law. He requested advice from his fans and followers as he revealed that he has been spending a lot of time in the gym and eating heavy meals in preparation for the comedian. There you have it for stories that made trends today. Do well to join me next time on the channel. Thanks for watching.